Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Uh, I'm so glad you're watching. I have a really fun video for you today of some of my like must summer essentials. So I think if you live anywhere sunny, you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside. I know I don't even have to talk about sunscreen because you've been hearing me talk about sunscreen four weeks now. So I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite little makeup products for the summer that I think you can make some really cool looks for and just some kind of just to give you a general overview of some things that I think you should have your, in your makeup bag just for this summer. I'm going to start with foundation. I am choosing the Naked Skin by Urban Decay as a great foundation for this summer. Now you've heard me talk about the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and I'm loving that, but I think the Naked foundation is really going to be perfect for summer because it's weightless. Um, it's a liquid foundation. It's paraben free. It diffuses the light. It gives you a nice like finish, not too dewy, but it's not matte, which I don't think in the summertime you don't want a real matte face. I think you want a fresh like dewy face. I've been spot powdering a lot, which I'll powder my T-zone and leave my cheeks like dewy and kind of luminescent. And I just think that the Urban Decay Naked foundation is great for that. Now, Revlon makes a pretty good dupe for this. It's near. It's called Nearly Naked by Revlon. So that's the drugstore alternative for the Urban Decay one, but I really do love the Urban Decay. So I think that's essential, summer makeup essential number one, a lightweight foundation. Okay, my next summer essential is a cream blush. Now you guys know that I love the Stila convertible colors. This is, a, this is dual lip and cheek. Um, and this is in fuchsia number 19. I love this. Like, look how great that color is. I know you're thinking it's so scary. Let me swatch it for you. So that's what it looks like swatched. And then obviously, let me just diffuse it out a little bit for you. I have this on today, so. So that's just with my finger kind of diffused out and it's a really beautiful color. But I feel like these stay on. I feel like a cream color stays on better when you're sweating, better when you're in the water, that kind of stuff. So can't go wrong with a great cream cheek color. And Sonia Kashuk at, at Target makes a really great cream blush as well. My next one is going to be no shock to you. It's a bronzer. This is the NARS Angelica Laguna palette. Now, I thought about just pulling a normal, just straight bronzer, but I actually think Laguna is one of the best bronzers for summer. It doesn't have shimmer in it, which I don't like a shimmer in my bronzers. Um, and it is, it looks really, really dark, but I'm just putting it on my hand. I'm just doing a little swatch right here on my hand so that you can see, can you see it right there, that line? Not super crazy, really great for contouring, really great for warming your whole face up if you wanted to skip foundation for the day, or you put your foundation on and you want to warm your whole face up with this. This is a great, great bronzer. And this is a really cute, um, that's the blush, that's Angelica, cute pink blush. So I think it's nice to have a palette. So those are those two swapped together right there, Angelica and Laguna. Really pretty combo, makes for just a really fresh face for the summer, which I think summer's all about having a really fresh face, right? Okay, next product is um, a really great lip gloss. Now, you know, I'm all about a bold lip right now and it was really hard for me to decide whether to do talk about a lipstick or a lip gloss. And I wanted to talk about a lip gloss. So this is from the Maybelline lip glosses. This is Coral Heat, super fun color. And let me swatch that for you. So I think you either need a really fun coral or a really fun bright pink lip gloss for the summer. I'm going with coral just because I'm into corals right now. Um, and it's it swatches just, it's so pretty. So definitely get a lip gloss in your summer makeup bag in either a bright pink or a really pretty coral. Next up, I think you need to have a great nail. I have chosen Lights by Essie as my like favorite right now, like summer nail polish. I have this on my toes right now. It's super cute. It's super bright. I'll probably put this on my fingers later. And I just think that you can't go wrong with a really bright, fun nail for the summer. So add that to your makeup bag. Now, obviously, I think you need a water-resistant mascara. Um, this is not a waterproof mascara, but this is clump. This is Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. It's water resistant. I think it has some pretty good staying power. And the other thing too is I really like the brush on this one. I like that it's a curved brush, but it really grabs your lashes pretty well. So I feel like you can really get a good thick, um, somebody's boxing me. I think you can get a really good thick lash with this brush. So water resistant mascara so that you don't have like, um, what I would like to call pretty girl tears in the pool or at the beach this summer when you're like, you know, 
Tammy Faye in it um, after you come out of the water. And last but not least, I picked a couple really fun eyeshadows for this summer. I'm picking, these are the new limited edition color tattoos, and I'm picking Cool Crush and Lavish Lavender. I'm gonna swatch those for you. These are 24 hour, they have great staying power, and I have a feeling these are gonna be really good in the water, just because their staying power is so great. Um, this is the, that's the Lavish Lavender. I'm gonna swatch that for you. So you can really see that. And then Cool Crush. That's the Cool Crush. That's like such a pretty silvery. So it's like a silver and a kind of a bluish, it's a bluish silver and then like a lavender. But doing a really fun, low maintenance eye, whether you're just swiping those across your lid, whether you're doing um, the Cool Crush in your on your lid and your, the Lavish Lavender in your crease. But just having, I think the summer is all about a really low maintenance eye. Put away your smoky eye, um, put away your like really heavy, like dark like eye and go for a really neutral, really light eye or something really funky with some like iridescent properties in it, I think is gonna be perfect for summer. So those are my must have summer essentials. I hope you'll add something new to your makeup bag this week or you'll realize that you have something in your collection that's gonna be perfect for this summer. Anyway, stay beautiful, have a great week and thanks for watching.